What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing a Cramorant off meta team for Regulation E. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before I get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Pokeberm. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. If you guys want the Pokebase or want to check out this team more in depth, make sure you head over to Pokeberm's channel. Link is going to be down in the description below. But the concept of this team is pretty cool. You got Cramorant over here with Surf and Gold Missile alongside with Storm Drain Gastron. A lot of people are going to be thinking Dondozo and Tatsugiri go together, but in this case, Tatsugiri and Dondozo are just separate Pokemon. We don't have the commander ability on the Tatsugiri, so we're rocking out with Tatsugiri on its own. We can surf with Cramorant, get the Storm Drain boost, and kind of get thriving from there, especially because Cramorant can set up the, that Tailwind and then Tailwind and Storm Drain boost. That's scary. You really get some work done. We also got some fake out users with Metacham and Raichu and then Landorus to EQ next to Cramorant. First Pokemon that we're going to talk about is going to be Don Dozo. Don Dozo's got Oblivious and Leftovers and it is a pretty solid slash bulky Pokemon on its own. It's got Wave Crash, Curse, Sleep Talk, and Rest. In our second slot, we got Tatsugiri with Storm Drain and the White Herb as its item. It's got Muddy Water, Icy Wind for a bit speed control, Draco Meteor for big time stab damage, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. And our third slot is going to be Raichu with that Lightning Rod ability to help Pokemon like Don Dozo and Cramorant up against electric type Pokemon. It's got Air Balloon and then it has Fake Out, Encore, Volt Switch, and Protect. And our fourth slot is our second Fake Out user. It is going to be Telepathy Metacham with the Covert Cloak as its item. It's got Fake Out for flinches, Close Combat for big time stab damage, Bullet Punch to deal with the Fairy type Pokemon, and then Taunt to Taunt opposing support Pokemon. This slot is going to be Landers. Landers is great because of Intimidate, and on top of that, it is a great physical attacker. It's got Assault Vest with EQ, Rock Side, U Turn, and Stomping Tantrum. And our final slot is going to be Cramorant. And Cramorant is just such a cool, dopey looking bird. It's got Gold Missile with Focus Sash as its item, and it's Rock and Surf, Air Slash, Tailwind, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Cramorant team. First match on its way, and we're going up against a Slow King Trick Room team with Titar, Clefable, Ursa Luna, Golden Go, and Roaring Moon. I feel as we want to try to pull off a little bit of Cramorant action here in match number one. So I'm going to go with Cramorant as a nice level lead, and I think I'm going to lead a fake out user such as Raichu here, right? Raichu would not be too shabby. So we can go Raichu, we could go Cramorant, or if they're going to pop Trick Room, we could just go into straight. Tatsugiri, which I don't think would be all that bad, <clears throat> right? Would not be bad, especially if they're popping Trick Room. I mean, if they are popping Trick Room, maybe we might just want to taunt them. Ooh, I kind of like that. So I'll go Metacham, I'll go Cramorant. We will bring Tatsugiri in the back end alongside with Landorus. They have no electric type Pokemon, so Raichu, we don't really need you. We don't really need you. I really like uh, Metacham here, especially with Taunt. If they go Slow King, I can just taunt it. I believe, I believe it learns Oblivious, right? Does Oblivious stop it from being taunted? I don't think so. I do not believe so. I could be wrong though. That could be tough if I go for the taunt and that thing is just Oblivious. That might be, that might work. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Slow King Clefable come out here and chances are a foul Meat's just gonna pop out here to be honest with you guys. So maybe I should just let a Tatsu Giri. Maybe I should just let Tatsu. But from here, I'm just going to pop a nice, lovely Air Slash. And you know what? Never mind. I'm just going to pop a nice, lovely Surf. No, I'm not. I'm going to pop an Air Slash here. Maybe try to look for a flinch. And then I'm just going to go into a nice little Fake Out into the uh, into the Slow King slot. So Fake Out's going to come across here and do a little bit of damage. And Follow Me is not going to fly. So Follow Me comes out here. Is this in Cover Cloak? Or does Oblivious actually take away from that? I'm very curious. I'm very curious to see. This thing's gonna eject button out of here. And I'm super curious. Will this thing not flinch because of Oblivious? I know it learns like an ability like that. Or it could be Cobra Cloak. Actually, you know what? I might look that up. But nonetheless, we're gonna see how it goes right here. And no, we should go for a Bulldoze. The Bulldoze comes out of here and he's gonna lower the speed of Ursula. 
doesn't really make too much sense, but hey, that's fine. That's fine. From here, I'm just gonna surf. Actually, you know what? Should we taunt? Should we go for taunt? Now, you know what? We're just gonna go here. We're gonna hit that surf button. No, we're not gonna throw ass We're just gonna surf. I'm gonna hard swap into Tatsu here. I'm gonna hard swap into Tatsu. So I get that free special attack boost. The Ursaluna could protect, they could pop trick room, but I'm kind of hoping they don't. And my orange Cramer can get rocking here and the But we'll bring out the Tatsu gear here. He's going to end up withdrawing the Ursaluna. Which is fine by me. We get the free special attack boost. And he's going to bring back out Clefable. Yeah. Clefable comes back out here. We end up popping a nice little surf. So we get the Storm Drain boost. And we get off some nice damage. Cool. Awesome. Beautiful. And there's the trick room. So the trick room finally comes out of here. I'm not too worried about it. I got gold missile in my mouth. Look at that. I got a fish just chilling in the in the mouth of the uh of the what's it called? Of the Cramorant. But from here, I'm just gonna go for do we think he's gonna go for follow me? Probably not. So I'm gonna go for Draco Meteor into you. And he's gonna skill swap me, which is fine, I guess. You're just gonna take storm drain away from me. Kinda sucks. But at the same time, we could potentially KO it here. That's something that's going to come out here. Tatsuki is going to be able to soak pretty well. Bolt Missile is going to fly over there. And it's going to lower its defense stat, which is actually hilarious. Jericho Meteor is going to come across here. It should be able to KO, which it does. And now White Herb is going to actually pop here. But honestly, do we think Surf's going to KO us? It might, because we do not have Storm Drain. Anymore. So I White Herb back to normal here. Surf's going to come out here. And it's going to deal some damage on the way. Yeah, I mean, we get gold missile again, which is awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. So not a bad start for Kramer. Kramer getting some work done. Storm Drain Tatsugiri really ripping. And they kind of know we don't have Dondozo anymore. We'll see who they throw out here. Potentially Ursaluna is going to be the call here. And yeah, Ursaluna is going to come out here. So from here, honestly, I think just like protecting Kramer could be the play. So how many turns are left to hit one? Or trip three. Yeah, so protecting and wasting a turn here could be very viable for us. And I'm going to just double protect. I have Metacham. I have Landers in the back end. I like my back end Pokemon. So we're just going to try to get after here. So waste out a couple turns of Trick Room could work out really, really well for us. And then we can really get one. But I'm hoping I get off at least like one more shot with Kramer. Because a nice little Surf. Or even a shot with uh, Tatsugiri could be nice. Definitely could be. So they're going to end up terrasalizing. I'm guessing that's going to be Ursaluna, right? Normal type? And I think I have Ghost on Cramorant. If that's the case, if they're rocking Hyper Voices, I might terrasalize my Cramorant to get off a shot. I just might do that. So Protect comes out from the Tatsu. Lovely. And Protect comes out from the Cramorant. I, I love Cramorant. I think Gold Missile is such a cool ability. And it's so cool because only Cramorant learns it. But it's such a cool ability all around. I really do like it. But they end up going for Dazzling Gleam. And I'm guessing a Hyper Voice or a Blood Moon. Chance are it's a Hyper Voice. No, a Blood Moon comes out here. It goes for the Blood Moon. Since I have that Ghost Typing. I believe I have Ghost Terror Type. I do. I'm going to use it now. And I'm just going to pop a Surf to get rid of the, uh, the Clefable. And I'm going to try. I'm going to try to pop a Draco Meteor and land it into that Ursula slot. But after this, we can go into our other Pokemon. We can have Fake Out. We can waste out the last turn of Trick Room. And then we can try to grab ourselves some win from there. But this match is going pretty well for us. It's not going too shabby. Nice little, nice little uh, Terrace can come out here from us. There's no shot that he, he doesn't go for a normal move, right? You've got to be going for a Hyper Ghost. I know you can't use Blood Moon twice. That's why I think you're going to use Hyper Ghost. But the Ghost Terror, one of the best Terrors in the game, considering normal moves are so big. And Fake Out is such a big option. And we're gonna go into it. Helping hand comes out here, and that you're definitely going for hyper voice with that. So we make a nice call here. A nice beautiful call. There's the hyper voice. Oh my god, you have mind's eye. Not a good call, jeez. I was hyping that call up all day long. That is such a pain. I forgot about that ability. So if you guys do not know, like me, I forget sometimes Mind's Eye is an ability that Ursaluna learns, Blood Moon Ursaluna, and its normal moves can hit ghost types. I 
I wish I would have thought that one a little bit more through. But hey, we go into Metacham now. We go into Lando. That sucks, man. <laughs> That's so annoying. And Metacham does have telepathy, so I can EQ freely here, which is pretty solid. And I'm probably going to do that, right? It's probably my best bet. So I'm going to Intimidate. I like how Trick Room is going. And I believe Gold Missile lowered their defense, right? Yeah, their defense is down, which is huge. That is beautiful. So from here, I'm just going to fake out the Ursaluna, and I'm just going to go for a free EQ. We got Telepathy on Metacham. We will not be able to hit it. And that's pretty solid for us. We love it. And last turn, Trick Room is going after this. Metacham's able to survive that, too. Cool. Awesome. Lovely. Beautiful. Then it pops the EQ. Everything works out fine. So we forget about that. We wasted our tarot, which is kind of annoying. But hey, we're getting off some work right now. So we bring Ursaluna down to red. We get rid of Clefable. And who is the last Pokemon? Because chances are Ursaluna is going to be slowest on the field. And I'm kind of hoping they throw out another slow Pokemon. It's going to be Titar here. That's cool with me. That is definitely fine with me. Because from here, I... How fast you match him? I kind of want to go for a close combat with you. 145, you're definitely faster than T-Tar. That's, that's massive. So from here, I'm just going to go close combat. I'm going to pop an EQ yet again, and that should be game. That should be game. So Cramran coming out here, match number one, getting things thriving. We had a bad terror type on us. Forgot about an ability, but hey, it's going to work out perfectly because we got this win in the bag. We got it in a bag, in a bag. Oh, no, you got vacuum me. But hey, we're eating that up all day. We eat that up all day. Like I said, in a bag, that's in a bag, it's in a bag. This game's in the bag. It's in the bag. And I love this team synergy right here. Like, being able to go into Lander's late game and, uh, and pop EQs freely, especially next to Cramrant or Telepathy Medicham, it just works so nice. And Air Balloon uh, Raichu. It's so, it's just so nice. It's so nice. So, Medicham's gonna take buffets from the Sandstorm. It should be able to eat this one up. And as long as you don't land a double protect, like I said, we win this game. And I, I have an odd feeling that they're gonna land a double protect, no problem. Cool, they don't. Awesome. <laughs> Props for them to actually go for it, though. Because that honestly, they had a shot at winning the game if they do land double protect. Because then Medicham dies out the buffets. Um, T Tar eats up an EQ like this, gets a weakness policy, and then just hits me with a rock slide. The double protect was was the game right there. And I would have been upset if I would have lost that. But out comes close combat. Game set match. We start off 1-0. What a hot start for us. Let's go hop into a second match. Use Cramorant and a little bit more. Second match coming at you guys. And we're going up against a dope team. Meowth Karata, Cinderace, Kilowattril, Garchomp, Gyarados, and Fluttermane. That team just looks awesome. It looks so dope. But guess what? Cramorant is about to rip up here. So I'm going to lead Cramorant here. Try to get this Pokemon rolling. And I'm going to lead it with... Raichu. I think Raichu could be solid. It's got the Volt Switch. It's got the Lightning Rod for the Kilowattle. I really like that. So I'm going to go Cramorant. I'm going to go Raichu. We're going to bring Tatsugiri and Landers in the back end, just like we did in match number one, and look to kind of repeat what we did. Just, you know, get off a fake out, maybe set up a Tailwind this time, and then just get rolling from there. Surf, get Storm Drain boost. Get cooking. They have no speed control, right? Oh, no, they do. Kilowattle with Tailwind. It is an option, but at that point, could go for Discharge, because Discharge will hit through Lightning Rod. It will. Right? Yeah. It will, it will still give Raichu the boost, but at the same time. It could do me dirty. So I could see him leading, potentially. Garchomp, Kilowatt. That could be bad. Yeah, there it is. Oh. A little bit of Discharge and EQ action. That's the plan for that. That is the plan. The Raichu has the Air Balloon. I think from here... We just set up a Tailwind, and we try to get Tailwind speed first. And then we just fake out the Kilowatt. That's going to be my play. So I'm going to fake out the Kilowatt. I want to hope it's not Cobra Cook. I doubt it's Cobra Cook. Oh, it's not. That's beautiful. And then he goes for an EQ. And honestly, this works perfectly because your EQ does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. We have Air Balloon. We have <laughs> we have a Flying type in Cramorant. And I get off a free Tailwind that time. That's beautiful. A big time free Tailwind turn. I think from here, we might just want to just go into a Surf here and try to Volt Switch out of here and deal some damage to Kilowattro at the same time. I'm Volt Switching here. Saying see you later. And you have Volt Absorb? I really thought you were like Wind Rider. That kind of sucks because now I'm hitting my Raichu and everything. And I was supposed to go into my Tatsugiri. You set up a Tailwind and what are you going for now, Garchomp? That is so annoying. Rock Slide probably. Dragon Claw. Okay, Dragon Claw is going to come out here. 
We're able to soak, but I am able to throw a fish at you, deal some damage, and lower defense. That's so rough, you have Volt Absorb. That is so rough. Volt Absorb, really doing me dirty. Hmm. I'm gonna try to go for a Surf. If I can land a Surf, that'd be nice. Surf would be beautiful. And I might just pivot you. I might just swap you into, into Lando here. Just so I can have Fake Out for later usage. I think Tatsugiri and Lando's gonna be the two Pokemon. They're gonna need to pick up some KOs. So I'm gonna go into Lando because I do think a potentially a Discharge can come out here. And Intimidate's gonna work wonders, especially on the Garchomp. So there's the Discharge. Not gonna affect the Garchomp. It is gonna take out Kramo though. Kramo's gonna drop out here, and I'm curious to see what Garchomp's going for. Maybe another Dragon Claw? Could be an option. EQ. Okay, that works. But EQ is just not working. We're not allowing you to land it. We're just, we're just not. So from here, I can bring back out. You have Rock Slide, don't you? You do. I can bring back out Raichu, which I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna be able to fake out now. So I can fake out the Killer Watcher. I can go for. I can go for a. What's it called here as well? A Rock Slide. And honestly, do I fake out Garchomp instead? Because Rock Slide might not KO it. But Rock Slide is going to KO the Killer Watcher. So I'm going to fake out the Garchomp here. Give the little Klapskis. And he's going to. Oh, of course, you got Rough Skin. All these abilities doing bad. And Rocky Helmet. Oh, I should never fake out the Garchomp. Air Slash is going to come across here, do a little bit of damage, and... Oh, that's Garchomp flinch. I thought that was Lando. Oh, no, there's my flinch. There's my lovely flinch. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. And there's lovely flinch. So now I'm going to protect you, and I'm going to try to land this. I have Water Terror. It's not worth going into Water Terror. I'm just going to go for Rock Slide now. That's so annoying, yo. <laughs> this game still be so bad today. Well, at least this match. Air Slash is going to go after Kilowatt or Landorus. And he's going to go for another EQ. That's fine. That's fine. As long as I don't flinch here, we still have a nice shot at winning this match. Because this is their last turn in Tailwind. And if I can land this Rock Slide, we could be fine. Cool. Rock Slide does land. We get rid of the Kilowatt or we do some damage on the Beautiful. Lovely. Awesome. So we still have Tatsu in the back end, which is pretty solid. I like Tatsu. But Volt Absorb on the Kilowatt will really help the match tremendously. I really thought it was going to be like Wind Rider. I feel like that's just like the best ability. It's so good. Now Miyazuka Rider is going to come out here, which is a bit scary. I'm going to try to Volt Switch into that. So I'll go for Volt Switch. And I'd love to pop a EQ or even a Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide would be a bit better. I can land it. Their speed's absurd. Their speed, they got some fast Pokemon. I'm hoping Lando can just outspeed or maybe eat up a shot from them. Self Terror, too. Let's see what they do. Let's see how this one plays out here. The Tatsugiri's in the back end with Steel Terror. Flower Trick's gonna come out here, and you're gonna switch to straight Grass type, and that's gonna KO whoever you hit. Lando, you're dead. Lando dies out here. So from here, I actually get a nice little bolt switch. They are going into an EQ, I know that for a fact. But I get my fake out back next turn, which is pretty big. It's pretty big. So as long as Tatsu can kind of just like soak this up, we can get cooking. I'll bring out the Tatsu. We know you're going for EQ. We already know it. And out comes EQ. So you're going to deal some damage to Miyazakurata. Tatsu takes about half. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But the real question is, what is Tatsu's speed? What is your speed, Tatsu? 147. I don't think you're outspeeding a Garchomp. I don't think you're outspeeding a Garchomp, but it would be awesome if you are. Because in this instance, I kind of have to fake out Miascarada. I really have to fake out Miascarada here. Because that thing, I know it's faster than all my Pokemon. A nice flinch and then Tatsu your Icy Wind could kill the Garchomp and then slow down the Miyash Glider, which being pretty big. So hopefully Tatsu Gary speeds, but I don't think it would it is. Oh, and you opt to go for a Swords Dance. That's big for us. That is huge for us. Icy Wind's gonna come across here, KO the Chomp, deal some big time damage on the Miyash and on top of that, drop speed. So 
Joker. We got a close match here. We got a close match depending on what their last Pokemon is. So I don't know if it is Rock and Sucker Punch. That could be a little rough for us. But I'm going to hope it's not. Because I would love to just go for an Icy Wind. And Cinderace comes out here. Cinderace is a tough customer for us. Real tough customer. So I'm going to go for an Icy Wind here. I am going to go for, I guess, just uh, some damage here. And I do have Terra. I want to Terra you in the grass. Or do I want to Terra the other one in the steel? I don't think there's a point to Terra. Is there a point to Terra? I don't think there is. I really don't think there is. I don't think we get off any value. Pyroball's gonna come out here. Raichu dies out here. And Tatsugiri, if you outspeed, you have a shot at winning this game. You do. You have a shot at winning this game. Because that's gonna KO Miyazkamata and lower Cinderace's speed. And with Cinderace lower speed, Tatsugiri should outspeed. And I might be able to KO with the Draco Meteor. This will be the clutchest Tatsugiri on planet Earth to KOs here. The Draco Meteor should come out here. Um, do I change typings? I'm not going to. Uh, I am going to change typings because I doubt you go for Pyro Ball. I really doubt you go for Pyro Ball. So I'm going to change typings just in case you want to go into like a different move. And again, chances are you're going to a different move. There's no shot you're going for a Pyro Ball up against a Dragon and Water type of. So I'm going to Terrasize in the Steel. There's no way you're going for Pyro Ball. And I'm going to look to KO you with this Straco Meteor. Waking Meteor coming out here. How much damage are we doing? Not enough. Not enough. I got the White Herb popping. So if we can eat up this shot, it better not be Pyro Ball. It's Zen Headbutt. Oh my lord. Zen Headbutt comes through here. And we die to that? I thought it was perfect. You get a crit. I was sitting there, I was just like, Steel typing up against Psychic, it's going to be not very effective. We should be able to soak and then go for another Draco Meteor and win. But of course, our opponent gets a crit there and wins the match. That's upsetting. That's real upsetting. Nothing but disappointment in match number two. Made the right plays, went well, but a crit at the end really does me dirty. Hate this game so much because RNG can do you so dirty. But we're hopping into our third and final match. We'll put that one in the past. We are one and one. But we're going up against a Weezing and Slack King combo team. They also have Palafin. Then rocking out with Shen Pao, Dragonite, and Fluttermane. So, very powerful side of things. I mean, Slack King and Weezing is very, very powerful. And it takes out abilities. So, how am I going to play this one? I could just go maybe for straight attacking right off the rip and go cram ramp and Tatsugiri maybe hope they don't go Weezing but if they go Weezing we just uh, start attacking at that point yeah I kind of like that and then in the back end we'll go landers and throw one Don Dozo bubble bass over here <laughs> could be nice it could be nice it's a pretty bulky Pokemon and hit pretty hard too you don't have heavy slam which I really wish you had at this point but you know what? I think I might just go in with like a fake out user like Metacham. Because you do have Bullet Punch for first turn priority. Steel Terror type as well. That can work good on Shen Pao and Fluttermane. So we're going to hope Weezing doesn't come out here for the lead. But watch. Weezing's going to come out here for the lead. And I'm going to be very upset. Because I just love my abilities. And abilities are really thriving with this team too. So Weezing really does everything dirty. But Palafin and Slack can come out here. Um, If I had to guess... Probably flip turning or just hard swapping it into Weezing, right? Makes the most sense. So maybe I just air slash this thing. And maybe just muddy water. I'm actually going to terrasse slash cream, right? I like the ghost typing on this thing. And I mean, speed's already in our favor, right? Actually, no, let's set up the tailwind. We're going to set up the tailwind, and on top of that, I'm just going to go for muddy water. I'm just going to look to chunk up some damage here. So Palafin's probably flip turn. It's doing something. And I do have Storm Dream, which is actually pretty good for us. But it's not hard swapping. We can see that right now. Here's to see what it does. But the Ghost Tire is just in case Slacking wants to hit us with a, uh, a normal move. And he's just going to end up going for a bulk up. So he gets a defense boost. That's fine. Palafin's over here doing his thing. 
the tail doesn't really matter. So we get some speed. You get the defense boost. You get the attack boost. But luckily, I have a lot of special attackers on this team. And now I'm going to throw a nice, lovely, muddy water over here. It's going to deal some damage on the side. Maybe we get an accuracy drop? We do get an accuracy drop. We love accuracy drops. And honestly, from here, I surf, right? Even if I'm hitting Tatsu, we should still be fine. And I might just drink a meter into Slack and just double down into it. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I got the white herb, so dealing as much damage as we possibly can is definitely going to be a big call for us. Because I can see the hard swap coming out right now. They do not hard swap. I'm cool with that. Even Palfin in here. And yeah, two and one. They're just going to quit. Awesome. We love it. Cram Rant rocking out here in today's video. Nice little 2 1 win. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 1 for today's video. Had our last opponent quit, but we were just getting started with that one. That would have been an awesome recording for us. Wish they would have not quit because we were setting up really well there. We had the Tailwind going. We had Surf ready to go. Drake and Meteor was going to KO the slacking. Everything was going to work out perfectly. But almost had a perfect record if it wasn't for the crit on the Cinderace in match number two. But. Guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.